investor hat of Spriti, the two to three absolute dicks and go ahead constructs for a founder, the two to three absolute no goes and the red flags for a founder. It's hard to like really bucket it because it's again very circumstantial. But um, if you were to really look at it, at it's not supposed to be easy. My questions are supposed to be <laughs> interesting, not easy. No, I think when you um, when you meet a founder, right, you you do get a sense of the authenticity of the discussion. Mm. Right? I think that for me is a first. Um, Define authenticity. Well, you get to know what the person is. He really kind of just talking for the heck of it, or there is some substance in what he's saying. Mm. And I think that is not as black and white. It's more grey. It's more judgment. It's more your feeling. It's more your gut feeling that comes into play, which you cannot define and put it in brackets. You know what is plus and what is minus. It's somewhere in between. But yes, one for us, I think from an from as an investor, when I when I speak to uh, promoters and entrepreneurs, first thing for me is that. Are they passionate about at least for our field? It, it's very important. Yeah. Are they passionate about what they're doing? Why do you say only for your field? Because uh, I've I've also met a lot in my past avatars. I've also met entrepreneurs who are doing it for the business, just to make money and make money for everybody and, and exit, at a, point and exit at a point in time. So that's a clear goal, which is fine. Which is fine. Which There's is nothing absolute, wrong about it. Absolutely no. In fact, I would think in India for some reason. Investments are far more celebrated than exits. Yes, and that's right. that's a, that's a fact, right? It's yeah. glamour. If I may say, but, funding yeah. is over glamorized, but yeah. exits are what matters the most. Correct. That's so, true. From that but perspective, we don't have that much exits. Also I agree. To Therefore, glorify. So, so I, I, you're right. That is there's yeah. nothing that's wrong right. with that. No, right? there's nothing wrong. Process. Absolutely no. No, I think uh, what I mean is, um, well, of course, he is there to. Run a business, right? Right. He is there to make money for himself, create value. That has to be there. Otherwise, it goes the other side. Money for everyone. Money for everyone yeah. and for himself. Yeah, yeah, of course. Absolutely. I mean, there. I am not taking that away. But is it something more than that which is driving him? Right. Like giving back to the society in some format, helping somebody, or creating some value, or solving a problem which today is not being addressed. So, what is the driver? That is really getting this founder to work on this particular segment space. So the why and how of it is something which we get right. a lot deeper into to understand. You know what is the genesis, where is it coming from, and how long can he sustain on this True. path? Um, so if yeah, so I think that's the first. That's the core of the that's first. That's the core. And Actually, I think that's the first and the last. Yeah. Yeah. Come to think of it, it's that defines the entire investment. Process for us because that defines what kind of rights he will negotiate with us, what kind of X Y Z, right? So I think it boils down to that, and of course the regular checks on integrity and and those are, are those, those are, are given. In the box. Those are given. So those are. I'm talking more about the intangible elements. So the intangibles else? is is yeah is more about what drives him. Can I uh, can I ask you the, another question? As an investor, do you appreciate a founder who? Spends more time negotiating the documents, and therefore one way of looking at it is that the person is that much more serious about what he or she signs, and therefore is defending. Or are you of the mindset to say that as long as the founder only bothers about the must-haves, that's what matters? Because end of the day, the founder should concentrate on building the business as against spending too much time on those parameters of protection. What's your thought on that? The latter. Of course, so uh, yeah. I mean, even we don't want founders to sit and negotiate the documents with us forever, right? I mean, there are some things which are a given. There are some things which are non-negotiable. I'm sure he or she, as a founder, also has that non-negotiable. I'm I'm asking this all the more because while I know the entire mindset of Abler because of you know, what we do for Abler, but also for the broader purpose of our viewers. Yeah, no. As an investor, I think if the founder. Kind of doesn't question anything at all and just isn't that a red flag? It is a red flag. Mm. Of course, it's a red flag. So mm. that's what I was getting to. Yeah. When you talk about red flags, is it just that he's raising money for for just keeping the business going and doesn't bother about what is happening to the mm. cap table, mm -hmm. what happens mm -hmm. to the rights, is not thinking through it? It's a red flag, definitely. But you know that kind of comes a little later in the process. Mm. I think the initial yeah. decision point 
happens more on gut whether you really can have a business have a relationship with the founder like this hmm. right who understands appreciates the value of an investor there are a lot of founders who don't yeah they're just there for the money and uh, that sometimes is is not right 